Hello everyone, it's Exo Man, and I'm about to cook some eggs, about to fry some eggs, and I have a new pan. This is absolutely not a sponsored video. This is a pan I just happened to pick up in the store yesterday, and I wanted to try it out, because one of my pans, my fry pans, is getting old. It's, a, it's this kind of non-stick pan, and I don't want it to leak anything and, and it cause any health risk. But this a thing that I wanted to try is, uh, it's called The Rock. It's a Starfit brand, I guess, uh, or Rock Tech, I'm not sure. But they've made some pretty amazing claims. They're saying that this has uh, three times the release, meaning it's three times less likely to stick than traditional uh, nonstick pans, three times the release power or whatever, how do they word it? They say, our patented manufacturing process modifies the surface to form an ultra durable rock-like finish. The result is an outstanding release performance, three times better than the traditional non-stick cookware. So I'm going to see if that is in fact true and uh, I'm, going to, I'm first going to wash the pan of course, uh, get, the, get the packaging off of here and we'll do some cooking with it and see about that all right by the way i have no idea what these plastic clips are for that are on the edge the rim of this pan i don't what the heck is that maybe it was for holding the, the packaging in place i don't know i'm not sure about that maybe someone can tell me and and by the way this pan is rated for 350 degrees. It's supposedly oven safe up to that heat, which is interesting. And uh, here is my old pan. I've been very, very happy with this. It's called, uh, what is it? Tramontina. Tramontina. It's a uh, porcelain enamel product. And you can see that it kind of burned right there. And I don't know if that's burned through that coating or, or what. But I don't want to scrub it so hard to get it off because that would just take the, the uh, coating off, I'm afraid. But anyway, it's an 8-inch pan, whereas this is a 9.5-inch pan. And great little saute pans, but I use these for eggs, fried eggs. And I'm, I think I like the size of this better because the eggs will spread more and cook more quickly because of the surface area being cooked. These, they kind of fill up the pan and so it's a little bit thicker to cook so we'll see how this goes we'll test it with one egg I've already broken one rule there are some good tips that the manufacturer has put on the packaging and one is never heat an empty vessel so they're saying you want to lubricate this pan before you heat it uh, it doesn't sound like a bad idea uh, but so what I'm gonna do is they recommend also to use a little cooking oil, a teaspoon of cooking oil, to increase the performance of the pan. I find you, you have to have some sort of a lubricant in there. Another thing is, of course, to take care of the pan by not scouring it with a metal scouring pad, things like that that most people know. Okay, and I don't use sharp utensils. I tend to use uh, wood or you know, plastic utensils, just so that we're not, we're not scratching, scratching these pans. All right. And don't, they're saying don't use it on high heat, but rather low or medium. Well, let's put one egg in here. Oh, this is going to be problematic. Look at that. Isn't that an interesting break? Well, now my oil just sort of scattered. It didn't stay in one place. Uh, so we'll see how that works underneath the egg here. I've got my heat trimmed down. And I'm going to wait a minute till it, uh, it sets up, stiffens up a little bit, till I start to move the egg. And hopefully I don't need any utensil to move the egg. Typically in this pan, <coughs> I will spray it with a little cooking spray. And that keeps a nice even coat of lubricant. And I'm able to move the egg around and then flip it. 
with this their recommended uh, cooking oil so I used avocado oil and I don't know if that's going to do as, as well as a cooking spray that I, like I say will kind of evenly coat the pan. Alright so I'm not getting any movement. My egg is not moving so right away I'm going to need to employ a little help here to release this. So be it. Let's see if it's moving now. Okay, there we go. There we go. We just had a little, a little tiny area where it, it wanted to stick. Now, so far that looks really good. That, that's how a non-stick pan should perform. Get a little bit of something right there. Not sure what, why that's adhering. Let's go ahead and try to flip it. Oh, there we go. Easy enough. I let it cook a little longer than I would normally. Uh, take it off the heat. Let's put, let's put that on a plate. Now it seems to want to stick. Okay. Yep, oh, yep, it's stuck. Now see, and that caused the egg to burst when I tried to move it. I've still got an over easy egg, but I don't like that it's stuck. <sighs> let's give it another try. Let's just wipe it out. Make sure there's no material stuck to it. Okay. Now to be fair, let me try what I usually do, which is a little non-stick spray or cooking spray. You see how that kind of evenly coats the cooking surface and it doesn't uh, kind of move away like the like the oil does. Let's see if that helps, if that improves things. Now I have a little boudin sausage waiting in the wings to eat with my eggs, so that will be that will be very nice. Now this did not break on the flip, it broke when I started moving it on the yolk surface. It's nice to cook eggs on low heat if you have a little bit of time because it tends to cook them evenly without burning and they tend to not stick as much as they would on high heat. Alright, so we're on medium heat. Let's see. Oh, look at that movement. See, the cooking spray, if this were a contest between oil and spray, spray would win, wouldn't it? Look at the release there. Fantastic. We're just going to let that cook a little bit more. Like I say, we're going to let it stiffen up before we flip it. You see the yolk is not moving on top of the albumin. That's nice. A little bit of flip. A little bubble. That's not great. I don't like little bubbles. That's, that's not the fault of the pan. Take it off the heat for a second. Oh, and again, we've got movement. Much better than with the oil. Interesting. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? That's just beautiful. And if you don't know how to flip eggs, I did this when I was a boy. I, I lied about my age and got a job in the Waffle House back in the 70s when I was about 15. And I was cooking the night shift and weekends during the day which was a really tough job fun I enjoyed the heck out of it but look at that just beautiful but if you don't know how to flip an egg get yourself a piece of bread and practice you're just driving it off of the lip and and cushioning the the fall of the egg so it doesn't splat you know just takes a little little practice a little finesse all right there we go I'm very very pleased with that perfectly non-stick works just like this did when it was new and this lasted me for a good I would say four years three three to four years amazing and hopefully this will last as long
Let's see what we've got here. Some delicious boudin. Some delicious fried egg. Mmm. Oh. Wow, that is good. I highly recommend boudin and eggs. Another favorite of mine is couscous and eggs. A terrific breakfast as a sort of a replacement for hash browns or grits. Boudin is a Cajun rice sausage. This is, in this case, it's alligator and rice. It could have pork and rice, beef and rice, chicken, whatever. This is, I'm sorry, crawfish. This is crawfish and rice. Mmm, mmm, mmm. All right, well that's it. I just want to say thank you so much for allowing me to share with you things that I enjoy doing and thank you for watching. Take care everyone.